Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Surplus Not bringing a uh, series of videos on bow hunting and archery. Okay, and I want to start off on this first video by letting you guys know that I've only been bow hunting and into archery for like maybe two years now so yes I do not know it all okay um, hope you guys can watch this first part because on the other parts um, depending on the comments that I get I will be referring to this one just to let you guys know that I did made it very clear that maybe some of the information that I'm gonna be uh, explaining and giving out on these videos um, might need some correction um, I'm only gonna be able to um, put out what I've been learning okay and also by experience um, so right now we're gonna start off with this first part and I want to start off by showing you guys when I decided to buy my bow, um, which is a uh, Martin Cheetah 2009 model. I bought the bow and I wanted to get a pretty decent case for the bow. Remember, just like when you buy a rifle, okay, an AK-47, an AR-15, uh, bolt action, a surplus uh, rifle, whatever it may be, a handgun, always one of the main things is do not buy it if you're not going to have a good, decent storage means for it okay obviously a lot of times you buy a handgun and depending if it's a pretty good um, brand uh, handgun it's gonna come with a you know plastic case you know durable you can just leave it there um, Versa for instance um, they sell it to you in a plastic uh, in a paper in a cardboard box Okay, this is just an example. Uh, my, believe it or not, my Taurus PT92 AFS came in a plastic, in a, in a cardboard box. I couldn't believe that from Taurus. I don't know now they're giving it to you in a plastic case. But some ma manufacturers, when you buy a rifle, you get it in a cardboard box. Don't buy the rifle if you haven't planned on buying something where you're gonna keep it you know protected from the elements uh, nice and secure it won't be banging around um, that's one of the things so when I decided to buy my bow I kind of like you know looked at the measurements that I wanted to you know all the specs from the bow and I went ahead and wanted to get a case for it and this is the way to start off this series of um, archery and in bow hunting uh, videos because we need to start off by where are you storing your bow in this case it's not very expensive I went to Outdoor World or Bass Pro Shops and they had a couple there they have the 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 zipper um, portfolio whatever you know um, that it's not as sturdy as this and I believe it or not some of them were more expensive I think I paid for this one it was like probably like about uh, 40 some dollars 50 bucks and it's the Plano um, plastic bow case okay it comes with four clips okay that you open it very sturdy okay um, it comes with like two pillars on each side like in here that 
is crush proof, meaning that you lay anything on top. I'm not gonna tell you to run your car over it, but like if you're going in an airplane and you're traveling, um, it has also the little holes here where you can, um, on each side, it's got the holes where you can put a lock. Really, really sturdy, really heavy duty here. It's not like it'll, you know, they can just pull it off or anything. Two holes for two like master locks if you want. Okay, and then it's got like this pillar, um, whatever they might call it, crush proof, that if they throw luggage and everything on top, it will, it will not crush it down. Okay, so it's got this four pretty nice sturdy clips. It opens up, okay, and you have this padded foam inside. Let me open this like this. Padded foam inside. Get it really close here so you can see it. Okay. Um, this foam that keeps it really, really, it's really thick. It comes with the straps that it locks your bow in place. It's got three of them. One for each side of the riser, the aluminum riser. One here, one here. And then you have the one that holds your string. And believe it or not, it keeps your bow in there. If this thing was to tumble around, it will go, it will it won't go nowhere. And these are like the pillars that I call them. You see, like on this side, they stick up, and then you have these here. Okay. And um, believe it or not, to be honest with you, for the price, to me, it's the best case out there right now. Um, it doesn't. It does. Your bow stays in place. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't really move anywhere. And then on this side, on the other half, it's got the, um, uh, a section with this rubber insert that you can hold up to six arrows. Okay, and actually on this case, I can even keep my quiver right on the bow and I can get it set up where I can close it and it will not... Uh, the quiver will not interfere with the uh, operation of the actual case, like opening and closing it. It keeps it really sturdy, like I'm saying, on this side, right here, you guys can see it there. It's got, um, let me see if I can show it a little better to you guys. It's got where you can put six arrows, okay, six arrows. And it holds them there. Okay. Really nice. Really, really nice case. And um, for the price, I'm telling you, you cannot beat it, guys. So if you're looking, if you just bought a bow, or maybe some of you guys have it, I don't know what you think. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's pretty good. And I think they have different sizes. This, my bow, is from axle to axle is 30 inches okay it's a very nice tight compound bow later on in the other parts of of this series i'm going to talk about the bow about the different components that i have on it i'm going to be shooting it um you know just letting you guys know a couple of tricks and maybe you know uh you might know about them already but anyways i'm just here to help people out um and let me tell you when I got into uh, archery, I went to the internet and there was very, very little videos. I don't know if this there's still if there's people that have put out videos or not, uploaded them, but there's very little videos on archery. Um, I'm saying not just any video, I'm saying good videos where you find a good series and you start off by this is what I'm trying to do. You start off by the case where you're going to keep your bow, okay, and you go from there on, okay. Talk about the bow, about the different components that the, maybe the bow came with from the factory, add-ons that you can add on to it, the final uh, product, how you ended up, you know, hooking up the bow, um, the different features. 
and actual shooting it um, techniques on the anchor point release um, different type of um, ways of um, shooting accurately and and you know I have I really wasn't able to find no videos like that you know you probably have videos up there that were like three four minutes five minutes not even that and it was just a guy oh guys listen I got my bow here I'm gonna take a few shots boom, 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 and that was it so see I don't make videos like that that's not what I'm hearing YouTube for if you guys are subscribers to my channel you guys know that um, I do go into details so much sometimes into details that I do I realize I do end up repeating myself but I just don't want to let you know a few things out and sorry for that just be patient with me and I hope you guys like my videos you can subscribe to my channel let other guys know your friends if they're into YouTube and I'm planning on putting a pretty decent series on uh, archery I'll show you guys I've only been been um, hunting for like uh, five years five seasons and out of those five seasons I've been successful three okay as far as deers whitetail on on um, I have a property up in the middle of Florida where I go I have a double wide trailer on five acres and I do a lot of hunting there but mostly is like uh, wild hogs okay they're everywhere and a nuisance around there so yeah but, but white-tailed deer I've only been hunting for five years and out of those five years I've only uh, hunt uh, was able to get three bucks which I'll be showing you guys the, the mounts how I have them hung up on my wall um, and um, so we're gonna go ahead and start on this small series I hope you guys can keep up with me stay tuned if you flip on if you just managed to get on and, and, and jump into part three please go to my channel directly and all my videos are there okay if you ever come across any of my videos you can always go to my channel mr. surplus nut click on that it'll take you directly to my channels and just go to the right side where it says uh, see all or view all and all my videos are there you can watch one by one part one two three four and so on so I just want to show you guys this nice case that I'm really happy with I've had it for a long time I, I mean believe me when I went looking out for bows after setting my my um, my mind on what bow I was gonna get figure out how long it was gonna be you know and went ahead and started looking for a, a nice case for it I would have never bought the bow without having the case first again this case the Plano okay um, very nice case very sturdy no problems with it okay can get it at any outdoor store very cheap very economical very sturdy um, haven't tried it out in the rain or nothing but I'm pretty sure it'll probably hold up pretty good I mean and um, and that's about it guys we'll go, I'll go ahead and check you guys out on my second video Mr. Surplus Nut